Welcome to Hannity. The massive scandal over Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server during her time as Secretary of State is far from over. I'm Eric Bowling in for Sean tonight. Rudy Giuliani and former Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez will be here later with reaction. But first, Republicans in Congress are now demanding answers after the FBI decided not to recommend criminal charges against Hillary Clinton despite evidence of wrongdoing. Both FBI Director James Comey and Attorney General Loretta Lynch are set to appear on Capitol Hill to answer questions about the investigation. Director Comey will testify tomorrow before the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, and Attorney General Lynch will face members of the House Judiciary Committee next week. Joining us now are the chairman of those committees, Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz and Virginia Congressman Bob Goodlatte. Jason, uh, Congressman uh, Chaffetz, let's start with you uh, for James Comey. The question, what's your first question? What's your most pressing question? Oh, I'm not giving you away the first question yet, but it should be a good hearing. We, we want to understand the difference in his mind between gross negligence, which is in the statute, and extremely uh, careless. Uh, we have questions about his findings. Um, obviously, what Secretary Clinton said time and time again, both under oath, by the way, and in the public, uh, turned out to be not true. And so there was a lot of misleading information. We're just simply trying to expose and get to the truth. So, so Congressman, I'm sitting here thinking, what would I ask the, 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 the FBI director? And the first thing I would say is if, if you laid out 10 or 15 minutes of why you should indict and you decided not to indict, what would it have taken? What were you looking for that would have been the trigger to say, indict this woman? I do hope by the end of the hearing we do have some more clarity on that because if you listen to the fact pattern laid out by the FBI director, you would be led to the conclusion that she did violate the law and, and should be prosecuted. Certainly the Department of Justice has prosecuted people for far less. And so that does beg the question, is there something wrong with the statute or do, which a lot of us have suspicion about, do the Clintons skate at a different plane on a different set of rules than your average Joe who's maybe just working for the government trying to earn a paycheck every week? All right, but Representative Goodlatte, you're going to speak to um, Attorney General Loretta Lynch. Um, so here's what I would want to know. Did she really think that meeting with Bill Clinton just days before this decision was coming down was a good idea and that wouldn't be perceived as a conflict of interest? Well, we want to know the answer to that. We also want to know the answer to the questions that I posed to Director Comey yesterday, and we'll pose the same ones to Attorney General Lynch. And we've put those into a letter so he can uh, look at them. In fact, I asked him yesterday. Uh, he said those were all important questions, uh, some of the ones you just discussed with Chairman Chaffetz. And uh, he said we deserved answers to them. So we're looking forward to uh, both of these hearings and getting answers to these questions, particularly about the question of whether or not uh, the average government worker in this country uh, believes that they should be held to a standard if the Secretary of State and presidential candidate is not held to a standard. Great questions, gentlemen. Thank you very much. You have two important meetings coming up.